It's a rare sight to see a Buddhist master in a television gallery, not to preach Buddhism, but to showcase Africa to his followers. But Yan Chan is no ordinary Buddhist master. With more than 45 million fans on China's many blogs in Weibo, he's arguably the most followed master in China and indeed an internet icon. Posting mostly on Buddhist life philosophies, Yan Chan offers his followers the much needed wisdom in a world of hustle and bustle. A lively discussion in CCTV Africa's studio reviews the master's style in the internet. I have been to Beijing, however, my brother is a beneficiary of some of the Chinese government programs in Africa. Master Yan Chan is part of a Chinese delegation of renowned journalists, TV hosts, social media icons, and senior diplomats to visit Africa. Their aim is to promote fellow Chinese's understanding of Africa through a variety of media channels, particularly social media. If China wants to be a great country, we need all sides of our society to be ready for it. All of us should engage in public diplomacy. Our enterprises should make their voices hard rather than only focusing on making money. Our media organizations should have the capacity to tell good stories. Stories about China-Africa relations. Stories about Chinese. That's the irreplaceable responsibilities of media houses. In the past decade, China's media presence in Africa has grown tremendously. Nairobi, Kenya's capital, is now home to major Chinese media houses, including CCTV Africa, Xinhua, China Radio International, and China Daily Africa. We cover Africa from a positive angle. Of course, we report breaking news and current affairs. But we also dedicate our program for positive and inspiring stories in this continent. That way, we give our African audience hope. And that's one of the reasons why our viewers like our programs. While CCTV Africa and its fellow media houses are winning viewership across the continent, more people are realizing the importance of social media, where mobile phones can make a whole difference in their owners' access to news events. And that's why live streaming of events by internet icons like Master Yan Chan is making its way penetrating a much wider audience. The delegation has also met with local media groups to strengthen understanding and communication. They have also been to several wildlife reserves where they were deliberated the illegal ivory trade out of Africa. As the delegation wrapped up their trip, each with a new understanding of Africa, it's hoped that their newly found knowledge about the continent will trickle down to the larger Chinese audience and internet users through various media channels they represent. Sunan CCTV.